I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving and a safe Black Friday and didn't go too crazy. The next few DIYs will be Christmas themed and what better way to start this series off than with some DIY ornaments. So let's get started. You'll need some plain ornaments. And for the first ornament you'll need Mod Podge, a book, magazine, or newspaper, white or iridescent glitter, a disposable bowl, a sponge brush or paintbrush, scissors, and water. Start by ripping out some of the pages of a book, magazine, or newspaper. Then cut them down into small, thin strips. Next, pour some Mod Podge into the bowl, add some water to it, and mix it all together. Once you have somewhat of a watery consistency, put the strips into the bowl and let them soak for about a minute. Take the top off the ornament and set it aside. Then start laying strips onto the ornament, making sure that you cover the entire ornament. Once it's all covered, you want to set it upside down to dry so that the glue drips downward. When it's dry, put a coat of the mix onto the ornament and sprinkle some glitter all over the ornament. Then set it aside to dry. Once it's dry, put the top back on. And you're done! For the next ornament, you won't be needing a plain ornament, you'll be making the ornament. You'll need decorative fillers, a hot glue gun, and thread or yarn. Start by gluing two of the larger balls together, then a third to make the base to work off of. Glue as many as you want to make a shape that you're happy with. If it gets a little too much to handle, stop gluing it for a moment and let the hot glue harden. Then start with it again. After you have a shape you're happy with, measure out your thread that you're going to hang it with. It doesn't have to be thread, it can also be yarn. Glue it to the back of the ornament. You can hide the thread by gluing it in between the fillers. And you're done! For the next ornament, you'll need a plain ornament and puffy paint or glue and glitter. This is pretty much based on your creativity and you can do anything you like. If you have glitter puffy paint, you can just draw on your design. And if you're using glue and glitter, carefully draw on your design, then sprinkle glitter on. Just make sure that you have something to catch the glitter. After you're done with your design, you want to be really careful how you put it down. Put it in a safe place with the top flat side down. And you're done. For the last ornament, you won't need an ornament. You'll be making one. You'll need ribbon, beads, thread, and a needle. You don't need to cut the ribbon off the spool. Start with folding the ribbon under itself so that the design is showing. Then pull the thread up through the middle of both pieces of the ribbon and add a bead. Repeat the process, but as you keep going, each layer is going to get smaller and smaller until you get to the top, making the shape of a tree. Just be sure to keep the thread pulled tight as you go through each layer. Once you get to the top, you can pull the thread through the bead to help it stay in place while you're tying it off. Cut the needle off and tie a knot at the top to hang it. 
and you're done. Thanks so much for watching my newest video. If you liked it, let me know. And if there's anything that you would like to see a video on, leave it in the comments below. Check back soon for some more videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See you again soon. Bye!